This is what my mornings look like. There's a load of feeding next to this feed wagon there. Dad's feeding with that one. And I'm feeding with this wagon in this pit this morning. So I'm just putting the last of the the minerals, the soy on it and treacle. So aye, there's a, there'll no be seeing very much feeding in the mornings at the moment. It's a, far too dark for all this. Good morning folks, I hope you are all enjoying my vlog mass. <laughs> What's going on today is so far feeding's done and the bedding's just about to get done. Sorry I'm not looking at the camera, I'm spiking a couple of bales to put out in a couple of the young calf sheds. Once that's all done we're going to be putting some pour on on some of the on the, all of the cattle that are on the slats down the bottom. There's plenty of them to jag, well not jag, I think we've ran out of the jagging stuff we're going to be using the pour on. It'll be good to get all that done. Kill all the lover fluke. Then I believe that'll be the last of that that has to be done. Yeah, I think that I think that is definitely everything done now after we do that today. That dog still not go over playing with balls. <laughs> the dog's walking out into the mud guard. Because the door's open today, because it's a bit mild today and I can't handle having the door shut with this jacket on. So I'm trying to keep an eye on him. And then later on today I believe we're going to be separating heifers out for the young bull. So it's going to be a busy enough day and right now I've got a pulsing headache. Which isn't the ideal. Popped a few paracetamol and it's kind of half died down but this morning was brutal. I'll show you what we done yesterday with the gates. We're welding up that gate and uh, shifting some gates around for more room for the dry cows. Because yesterday was very dark on my camera by the time we got all that sorted. Which is absolutely no use to try and show you. I try my best with a head torch, but it doesn't show what we were actually doing that well. The shed light could have been on and helped, but it was at the far end, so I don't think... In that old shed, we've got one big light, and it shines right down to the far end. And then the same in the shed behind the parlour when it's on. The old original lights don't work unfortunately because if they did I would be putting in LEDs I would have in the old shed anyway the new shed that doesn't have any lights and it just has that one big light well it did have one big light in the middle but then it packed in and then we got one that beams LEDs right down to the other end which is alright but by the time you get up to the far end it's all shadows this shed here doesn't have any lights in it either. Not sure why, but it's just... It just doesn't. <laughs> it's got solar panels, so I don't think it'll be that hard to get lights in it. The dog just jumped on the back window wipers. Switched them on. So that's what's going to be going on today, and that's a crack with the lights. The electricity is not cheap and it's one of our biggest bills because of the parlour running so dad doesn't really want to have many lights on <laughs> these new LEDs they use bugger all electricity so maybe in the future we'll get some in because I do like working in daylight rather than working with a head torch <laughs> you can see more got a pallet of milk powder up here so I better go and unload it This pallet where it's the gate and barred into the shed here. I'll do that. Right, let's go get some cattle dozed. Right, 
Hey, there's no hay for thing here. What? The black white hay for thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's now lunchtime. I'm going to show you what we done yesterday with the gate. I've got a bit of shite in my face. Because we've got that many dry cows and, well, young heifers all in the one bit, that's why we needed to make this gate. So we had to make this gate and raise it because the original height was, well, it was on the deck. So it would only be about this height. And we really don't want any dry cows to somehow end up in the main lot, so we kind of had to do that. The bottom hinge was gobbed, we welded that angle iron on and then put a couple of pipes on for the crooks. I think these guys have switched their water truck off. Turn the wee tap. Yes they have. Cows lick everything. There was a gate across the top end of the cubicles here yesterday. And the main lock cows could walk right across into here. And there was a gate shut kind of a third of the way down. And some of their feeding would get fed up here. And the dry cows would get down the bottom. However, there's that many of them there now. They've got the full length and the main lot's getting in, getting fed. The full length of the tombstone, the tombstone a feed barrier, which is in the old lean-to there, and then out the back in that new shed, in that big trough. These guys were what we were dozing this morning, 60 odd of them. Aye, all of them got done this morning. So, it was quite a big morning doing all that. I think I just seen a cat and that's just definitely seen, that's just definitely proven that there was a cat. Yes, big morning, but that's all done. And now none of them are going to suffer from lower fluke. That's the dark greens that arrived this morning. And the lorry. This afternoon we've got another lorry coming in. We thought it was coming tomorrow. However, it's now been organised to come today. This arrived this morning at six. And then this load of dark, no that's dark greens there. This load of beet pulps coming at about three. And then we'll be bucketing it in, one of each to mix it into this shed here. Two forklifts will be going later on to put that away to get it done quicker because it does take a while to bucket that stuff away all by yourself. I've looked up some different camera settings for low light so we'll see how this goes. I'm on new to this like so Let's just see, shall we? Time to shift some heifers for the bull. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ed. Here. Come on here. Come on in. Here. Here. Go. Here. 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 I'm not just quite sure what he's doing, so I'll ask him anyway. Oh, 
videos so I spoke to him there and it's uh, what we're doing is we're ripping out all the old stuff to make sure it gets used and putting it well it'll get mixed and then the new stuff gets up against the back wall here settings for low light. I've just switched the light on in the forklift, that's definitely helped right enough. What I think I'll do now is I'll switch the camera off and I'll put it on to I'll put it on time lapse and then get some weird banjo music in the background for a wee minute or so. I hope you enjoy that. just been informed by dad that it's not 40 odd ton it's uh, nearer 60 that we've put away tonight one load was 27 ton the other load was like 26 and then he pulled about 5 ton out to mix up with the rest that it got used and it wasn't in the back as I said earlier. So that's that done. Grand. As you can see now it is definitely pitch black. Anyway guys this is about as much as I can do for light for years. A head torch aiming at my face. Thank you all very much for watching today's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you all tomorrow hopefully and yeah stay tuned.